An iconic region 592 kilometres north of Perth, Kalbarri is a world-famous holiday destination. With its breathtaking gorges, national park, swimming beaches and marine life, it's all of WA's best in one place. Tourists come from all over the world to experience it. Kalbarri is renowned for its beauty, but sadly, power outages too. The single overhead line feeding the town's power supply is exposed to high winds, falling branches and salt buildup, causing outages that interrupt the community and visitors' enjoyment of the region. The post office has to close, the telemachines don't work, so if people are leaving town, how do they pay their bill? And it leaves a bad taste in people's mouths because they say, beautiful town, lovely area. But my God, they're backward with their facilities. And that sometimes uh, the power might be out for the best part of a week. Uh, it's often very hot. Uh, older people uh, struggle in those sort of conditions here. It's, Kalbarri can be very warm in the summertime. And of course, uh, as a tourist uh, town, it's very important that uh, people can operate their ATMs and their freezers and their, their kitchens and the swimming pools and all of those sort of things to make sure that the tourists are catered for because that's what the economy of this town relies on. With regional towns like Kalbarri, when there's a fault on any part of the line, the entire line automatically shuts down, creating a knock-on effect to the town's economy. If I'm down, I can't do anything because I highly rely on electricity to run all my different contracts which range from Department of Transport to Human Services and then even just your basic needs of someone wanting to come in, scan an email. As far as businesses are concerned, once the FPOS machine's down, then it opens up another whole kettle of fish. The medical centre has their own generator, but again, the generator doesn't cover everything. So. It, I, would love, I, I would love to see a more reliable power supply for Calvary. It deserves it. To bring reliability to the town, Western Power is installing a multi-million dollar renewable energy microgrid, potentially the largest in the country. The microgrid will combine wind and solar power with a large-scale battery to keep this much-loved tourist hotspot from dropping off the radar, creating happier tourists and locals. Batteries will only last so long, but it's going to, I think, cover a lot of the outages, especially when it's got support from wind and also hopefully some sun as well. We're doing our best to, to keep our customers satisfied from a customer perspective. Um, less interruptions, it's great. I mean, people want their power on all the time these days. Turn the switch on and the power's on. Great stuff, a great initiative way of the future. For the first time ever, Kalbarri will be able to rely on a constant power source to push the region and its global tourism reputation into a brighter, more sustainable future. Businesses will just be happier. Yeah, people will be happier. I think it's a good relationship that they've listened and done, we're working hard to do something about it. It will, it will show um, not only locals but also visitors to the region that we do have our own microgrid system that will work and keep us going 99%. I think the impact will be fabulous uh, and in fact uh, it's very very important that Calbarri regain its reputation as one of the premium uh, spots in tourism in Western Australia. The microgrid will go a long way in fulfilling the community's need for a renewable energy solution. It's a major step forward in changing the way rural towns like Kalbarri are supplied with power, creating a safer, more resilient network, one the locals and their visitors can depend on.